Start. Well, um, hello, my name is Desmond Howard. Uh, and, uh, good, evening. good evening. First of all, I thank all of you for coming out here and um, supporting this cause. One thing you don't know about me is I'm addicted to Krispy Kreme donuts. <laughs> thank you very much. I would drive past 12 Dunkin' Donuts to get to one Krispy Kreme Donut with the hot now light on. That's just me, that's who I am. Now you know. All right, I'm Dinar Robson. Um... Uh, thank you guys for having me here. And, uh... Everybody for coming out. Um, something that you won't know about me. I won't know. Uh, I love candy. I don't know why. I'm addicted to candy. Uh, any kind of candy, I, I love eating candy. And What's mom, your favorite? If you had to pick. <sighs> like, all I love it. I love it all. And my mom had a problem with me eating candy, so. I like sneaking it now, so. <laughs> so that's something that you probably won't know about. And how does your coach feel about sneaking? Uh, I try to keep away from him. <laughs> well, good evening, everybody. I'm Dahani Jones. I feel a little bit better because I'm like in between Denari and Desmond, like right in the middle. So it's good, right? <laughs> All right, so we're, we're playing on this theme of, of, of addictions and, uh, and uh, things that, you know, that we don't want people to really know about, but we do know. Um, let's see. Um, what is that? <laughs> I had it. I had a one that was really good. I can't remember. Oh, goodness. Bro, I really like ice cream. Oh, I know what it was. Okay. So... After, after every game, after every football game, because I don't like to drink a lot of water, um, my mother would always give me a two liter bottle of Sprite. That's what most people would not know about me. I couldn't, you know, she wouldn't, I wouldn't be able to drink the, the you know, the gallons of water because I wouldn't drink a lot of water while I was on the field, so my mom would just give me a bottle of Sprite. I don't know. I guess that wasn't as entertaining as the rest of them. <laughs> You know, I'm trying my best. <laughs> well, I have to say, I was just sitting here thinking it's a lot of Sprite. Yeah, yeah. A lot of Sprite. <laughs> it's good. Really good. <laughs> so that's what's in the Gatorade. Yeah. <laughs> Sprite. So, well, now to pick up on the theme of the evening, which is giving and giving back. Um, I was hoping each of you could talk about a gift that you received that seemed small at the time but has proven to be much bigger and more important now that you've had some perspective on it. I'll give, um, I, would, I would say the, the best gift that, well, I don't know if it seems small at the time, but I, I definitely think that a lot of people don't really think too much on it. Uh, I think it's my name. Um, my name's Dahani. And um, for a while, for about two, Two weeks when I was first born, I didn't have a name. Uh, my father wanted to sort of watch me. And for some reason, during those two weeks, he kind of quietly realized that I was a thinker. And so he named me Dahani, which means thinking man. <laughs> I think. Uh... The small thing. I don't know. I don't know if it was a small thing, but uh, when Desmond Howard came in to talk to the football team and tell us about tradition and all the tradition behind Michigan football and all that stuff, I think that was like one of the things that opened my eyes and let me know how much it meant to be a Michigan man and how much it meant to be a part of it, something that's bigger than yourself. And he kind of explained that to us, and uh, I think that was one of the things that kind of stood out to me since I've been here. Nice. Uh, thanks. Thank you for that. Um, I would say when I was, I think one thing that we take for granted when we're younger is time and the time that people give to us. So I think when I was younger, 
I just took for granted the amount of time that maybe coaches or people of that um, ilk spent with me. And now, you know, I value it much more, much greater. So I would say time is one of those things. You kind of just take for granted, but then when you get older, you understand that that's one of the most precious gifts that you can have and someone can give you is their time. So I would say it's time.